Well, we all know that Delmarva has a lot of rich history, and this month has a lot of history just in itself. It's Black History Month, and we're already looking ahead to future months, future things that we're going to celebrate. Who better to bring in than Heidi Nastrom Evans with the Rehoboth Beach Museum. Heidi, thanks for being here. Hi, Paige. Thanks for having me Happy on the to show. Have you. We always love having you. Not only are you always dressed amazing, but you always have a lot of history to talk about. So thanks for coming in today. You're so, very welcome. Thank you. So we're talking first, we have a lot to get to you guys. First, Heidi, we're going to talk Black History Month. You have a way that you're celebrating, honoring the month. It's happening tomorrow. Tell us about that. Yes, tomorrow night at 5 o'clock at the museum, we're having three of the community's most revered and mm -hmm. celebrated educators come for a roundtable discussion. Uh, Reverend Janet Mall Martin, mm -hmm. Representative Stell Parker Selby, and Rehoboth native Wayne Paskins mm -hmm. will be there to discuss growing up in the Rehoboth community during segregation, what it was like to be teachers and administrators at Cape. Wow. And then um, they've all gone on to be civic leaders as well. So we, the event is actually completely sold out. Wow. So we have over 60 people coming mm -hmm. um, and so many more people were interested in that we are offering to live stream it. So if anybody is interested in watching the mm -hmm. event who wasn't able to get a, ta a ticket, um, they may check out our website, rbmuseum.org. Perfect. I think, like you said, a lot of people will be interested in hearing about this. First-hand accounts are something that you don't get too often. Right. You know, so that'll be great to hear from people who, who live in our community. Uh, you also have a lot of new coming up with the museum. What's been happening that's new with you guys? Well, um, we were sad that our our wonderful educator, mm -hmm. Maria Latrosco, is leaving the museum. Mm -hmm. She wants to be closer to her grandchildren, Aww. so that's understandable, and we are very sorry to see her go. But we just hired a brand new educator, mm -hmm. Christian Jamrazek, and he's going to lead both student and adult programs at the museum, and he can help create them with people who want to register. Mm -hmm. They can email him at educator at rbmuseum dot org and a little bit about Christian's background yeah. is that he's really interesting person he's a professional pianist he teaches piano locally and last summer he was the interim musical director of clear spaces production of kinky boots oh my goodness right? okay very talented <laughs> yes. person okay great yeah so we kind of talked about what's happening now we talked about what's new Let's go next. You guys have a lot coming up next. Yes. Uh, and you have some, some toys, I should say, some goodies for us to talk about. What is sitting in front of us right now? I'm so excited to tell people about this. Okay, well, since we're going to do some show and tell, yes. I brought gloves, Thank you. which is how we handle artifacts Perfect. in the museum. Um, the artifacts that are on the table here have to do with an exhibit we're developing mm -hmm. Um, on amusements, okay. which will be about the heyday of the amusement culture on the boardwalk. Mm -hmm. I mean, we still in Rehoboth Beach have a lot to do on the boardwalk, yes. but back in the day before cell phones and TV and radio, boardwalk culture was really important. Mm -hmm. There were multiple movie theaters, wow. there were bowling alleys, there was miniature golf, mm -hmm. there was dancing, there was music many merry-go-rounds, mm -hmm. all of that. And so for the exhibit that we're planning, um, we're going to have some great artifacts. For example, it's still in the planning stages, mm -hmm. but we think that the Zoltar fortune-telling booth mm -hmm. that is pictured in the 1962 um, storm aftermath on the boardwalk. We believe that that's going to be in the exhibit. I'm so excited to get to all of this, especially if you don't mind me touching it, right here, who has a special name. But I think there's a lot of history just on this table in front of us. I want to make sure we have enough time to talk about it. So we are going to take a quick break, and then we're going to come back and talk about all of these fun artifacts, some of which might look a little familiar to you. So stay right where you are. Does it look familiar? As soon as I saw it, I thought, wait a minute, I have hit one of those with a ball before at Funland. It is part of an amusement game at Funland, or I should say it was. Heidi, we, uh, just a couple minutes ago, we're getting into these really cool, fun artifacts that people will soon be able to see at the Rehoboth Museum. I, of course, want to talk about this one first. It really is jumping out at me. What is this? <laughs> well, 
as Jeff on your staff <laughs> identified, it is not Splat the Cat as it is, I guess, incorrectly cataloged in our collection. Okay. It is Down the Clown. <laughs> and uh, this version of Down the Clown is from the 1960s. Okay. But today you can go play carnival games at Funland mm -hmm. Um, with an updated version mm -hmm. of Down the Clown. So Would you like cool. to take a look? Please, because I've always, I love this game. And you mentioned our my coworker Jeff, he loves this game as well at Funland. Uh, it's a little heavier actually than I thought. Mm -hmm. I imagine them being a little lighter. Um, and I was asking you too, this fuzz around it, is it because it's older? But I think this is how, how it was. Well, I imagine they've updated it yeah. a little bit, but um, they <laughs> still look pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. And so, um, Nowadays, when you go to Funland, mm -hmm. you mostly win plush toys, mm -hmm. you know, stuffed animals. Yeah. But back in the day, you would win little horses like this. So this cute. This metal horse oh is gosh. an example of one of the prizes that you would win oh, wow. at Funland. I love this. It's almost like an ornament, although not. And it reminds me of the, um, the carousel. Horses. Right, right. Wow. And in the exhibit, um, we're hoping to have carousel horses as well. Gosh, that is really cool. So Zoltar, toys, uh, the uh, the carousel horses, all really good history. Of course, you needed a ticket to get into Funland back in the day. Right? You have some of those too. Yeah. In our collection, we have tickets from Funland that mm -hmm. probably look pretty familiar to everyone because they do. haven't changed much. Yes, these do look familiar. These are... Um, tickets, I guess these are from the Center Theater, oh. which I think is was in the Carlton's clothing store, which what? just recently closed after being in business for many, many mm -hmm. years, over 60 years. Wow. And the Carlton's gave us their bear mascot, which we're going to have in the wow. exhibit as well. But there were multiple movie theaters in mm -hmm. town. And then um, this isn't really related sure. to amusements, but I, it's just so charming. I thought I would bring it for you and your audience yes. to see. I love this. This is probably my favorite thing you brought, actually. Right. It's yeah. so sweet. It's a this. dance card from back <laughs> in the day from Rehoboth <gasps> High School. Oh it's dated 1962. Mm -hmm. It has all the names of the junior and senior class in there. And what you did, mm -hmm. I don't know if both men and women got them okay. or just the women, I'm sort of imagining. But when you danced, there is uh, numbers one through ten. Yeah. And uh, oh, yeah. you True. would write down who you danced with. So Funny, and with this, like, what I love about this is it says Friday. It was May eleventh, nineteen sixty-two, from nine to one. Do you think that was nine p.m. to one a.m. or were they having know. early dances? I think it must have been later. Okay, they were partying up late. I can't stay yeah. up that late anymore. Well, <laughs> probably there's people from the nineteen sixty-two class watching right now oh. who will certainly correct us. Please let us know <laughs> if you were part of Rehoboth High School nineteen sixty-two class, and we'll know if you're lying or not because there's a list of seniors in here. I wish I could read all the names, but right. you know, uh, just let us know. I think that'd be really cool. We have. We'll have one of your, your cards from your junior senior prom. Heidi, thank you for bringing history to life with us. Thank you, So Paige. much fun. Every time you come, these artifacts just, they blow my mind. Yeah, we have so much fun I together. Bet. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, you guys, more Coast Life coming your way. We'll be right back in a minute. Stay right there on your couch.